All right, welcome to the vlog. Today it is Thanksgiving. My hair is a little messy, but it's okay. I don't really celebrate Thanksgiving myself because I'm not a firm believer in um, a lot of the holidays, as stupid as that sounds. I know a lot of people do say this about like Mother's Day and Father's Day. Like there shouldn't be just a dedicated day that you should be thankful for those people. And I feel like Thanksgiving, uh, the whole premise of it is to be thankful for your family and stuff like that and kind of get together but i don't really believe in that so i'm not really doing anything today the only thing i'm doing is probably saturday um just kind of getting together with my family just because my mom wants to and i'm not gonna not get together with them it's just that i don't really make a big deal out of it but today it is a bh gang type of day i got this nice long sleeve super comfy you guys should go check out the store this isn't on there but it can be if you guys want it to be so today what we got in the store is we got mason coming over and kind of just hanging out we're gonna just kind of film something um my mom's gonna make some food but that's about it not really doing anything special but it is going to be pretty much a day in the life of type 1 diabetic but first, I need to go out to my car because I left my test strips in there because I picked them up from the pharmacy the other day and I forgot to take them out. So I have test strips and my BD pen needles out there. So I'm going to go pick those up or go get those out of my car. But I got to put on socks first. Before I go out to my car, I there's been something that's going on with my diabetes that has been really, really scary. I was going to film the other day, but I, you guys will, I'll explain in a second. So I took um, three units, three or four units, I think it was four units, um, for a 270 blood sugar and eating 80 carbs. And you might be thinking to yourself, that is absolutely ridiculous, why would you do that? Um, and there's been something that's going on. Um, so every time I take... The, like a little like you usually my ratios um one to ten now if you guys don't know what that means that's one unit of insulin for every 10 carbs so that would mean i would have to take eight for 80 carbs and it's kind of easy just simple math for that but i've been noticing that just a little bit of insulin has been dropping my blood sugar a lot and um so i took that four units and my blood sugar dropped to 104 and now 104 is not low at all like it's not really that bad but like um it kind of just indicated that i was dropping so i drank a little bit of a regular pop to kind of just ease it back up so i didn't fall so low and i was laying in my bed and i wasn't really getting the full feel of how low i was actually getting now i dropped to 50 and I did not have anything to fix it other than like regular pop and and that wasn't really ideal for me to keep drinking because I didn't feel too good about it. My stomach was kind of getting upset because I wasn't used to all that sugar and um, carbs. So I drove to the gas station, which you probably should never do with a 50 blood sugar. And so I drove to the gas station, got a Fanta, which that has like a ton of carbs like that's probably my go-to drink if if i'm really low so that has a ton of carbs i think it has over like 60 something and then i got skittles which are pretty fast reacting with me and then i got orange slices like the gummies because those have uh 30 carbs for every three pieces so that would mean like 10 carbs each and so i ate all that and I fell asleep, which you should never do when you, before you know that your blood sugar is actually going up. And I woke up like four hours later and I felt like complete garbage and it kind of ruined my day because I should not have fell asleep and done that at all. So kind of like a scary little diabetic story. We'll get on the, with the day. I got to go grab my test strips, as I said because I'm completely out. I just checked my blood sugar with the last test strip I had in my um, bag. And my bag is a Swiss gear. It's just kind of, I usually just keep my, um, my insulin, my meter, 
and like my test strips in here if you guys don't know I have the I think it's just a uh, it's a contour next that's what kind of strips it has I check my blood sugar and it's 168 and it's just always says unable to connect the pump because I don't have my pump connected but I take um, Novolog um, pens and I take Tracebo for my long acting so my Novolog is my short acting and my Tracebo is long acting but I got that bag for when I went to Mexico because of I had a different one that you like held and I didn't want to hold it the whole time I was in Mexico so I got one with a strap which is a lot better I do recommend straps if you are a diabetic and you don't have a strap straps are the best thing you can do because it's a lot easier to carry around and the straps are normally easier to remember because it's kind of either always on your side or they're a little bit bigger and it's really hard to forget a strap Ooh, but thanksgiving is a nice day it is so nice out what i didn't even notice i didn't even know it was nice out i still have insulin in my system so the 168 blood sugar is is not what it's gonna stay at it's going down so i'm gonna have probably a snack around 12 carbs i really haven't talked really haven't talked too much about um diabetes as much as I would want to because my whole goal eventually be a, kind of a spokesperson but I'm gonna start incorporating it in my videos a lot more because I know that I can reach a lot more people this way than I can any other way with diabetes and kind of just keeping it to myself isn't really what I want to do I knew it if you guys can't see, I, I don't know why it bugs out so much, but that's 135. It's, it's dropping, and that was three units of insulin for a 300 blood sugar. I don't know what to do. Okay, Mason is here now. It is super nice out. As I said, we're gonna go clean my car because it is super dirty. And here he pulls up, we had to do a little switcheroo. What took you so long? There were so many cars up there. Okay. So you wanna throw it out or what? No. Why well, are you gonna keep it? Maybe give it to the next girlfriend. In a couple of days when I get one. <laughs> we got my car cleaned real nice. Did you throw my fucking Pepsi out? Oh, you brought that in here? Yeah. I was wondering. Go get it. Well, we're about to go get air fresheners because it kind of smells like pee in here. <laughs> Big dick. What are you doing, dude? Huh? I'm off the fucking grid. Welcome to the vlog. So, welcome to the vlog. Yeah. Let me tell you about my political party. Your what? My political. No, oh, we're not. No, Pogo's, Pogo's. Yeah, I know. I was like, what the hell is Pogo? <laughs> hey, Mom, what the hell is this one? It's a twisty. Mm. Apparently, if you touch them, they um, do whatever they want. Nice. Bye, family. Um. Bye. Bye. Car smells good. At least it's better than Cleet's car. We just stopped and got something to drink. We are about like 20 minutes, probably around 20 minutes away. Mason can't open his. Was... Me and Mason heard that there was a nice sale at Barnes and Nobles, so we came as quick as we could. You're gonna get a good book today. A what? Good book. A good one? A good one. A good one. Yes, sir. Are you gonna read it all tonight? Yes, sir. <laughs> I'll probably read it on the way. We're in the mall now. Uh, it seems pretty empty. We're gonna go see what kind of sales they got going on in different places. You know, I thought it would be a lot more packed because it opened at six and it's like seven now. But I guess we'll see. Trying to cop some shoes. 
the least proud I've ever been in my life. We just went in the anime corner. How was it? it bro. Was it? Yes, New spot? What? It's hot. It's popping. Anime corner, 10 out of 10. We stopped at Route 21. Nope, oh, just keep walking. Why? Just keep walking. No. We bought some popping cooking. I've seen like a lot of people do videos on that, so I'm gonna try to do a video on that. So, that's that. Do me video on smelling panties and pink. What? Smelling panties and pink. Me and Mason are trying to get matching vans. I just like zooming in. Because I zoomed it in. Nice. What? what? <laughs> Subtle flex. A little flex. A little flex. A little flex. <laughs> Them's is called my balloons, bro. What's that? Crocs. Them's? Them's it's my, my Crocs. So we just bought the 2018 edition of the Croc. Very, very cheap. A good Black Friday deal. Buy some good, probably ball out in these on. <laughs> <laughs> Look, bro, you can't tell me that. <laughs> we go parks back there and do a run. Yeah, let's do a race real quick. We actually have to. Do <laughs> me and Mason are gonna do a run test really quick and then cross. Mason are gonna do a race now. Um, we're gonna go down there, we're gonna set up the camera down here and we're gonna race and we're gonna see who wins in the croc. <laughs> you now that determines it. Mason is indeed the croc. 2018 Invitational Champion. Shout out Croc. <laughs> like the God of Bread. Oh my God. That, that was, was awful. That was a long distance. What that was. was. 100 yards. It's not fair you were in track last year. I was fucking <laughs> through. That was awful. So I forgot to tell you guys um, when I ate dinner today my blood sugar was 197 and I took two units of insulin um, for like over about 90 carbs and I know it literally, when I say it out loud it does not make sense at all but then my blood sugar is now uh, 263. If I would have took one more unit I think I would have uh, went super low and it's it, it was dropping so I drank a little bit of pop before we left for the road and I'm super winded but I'm sure my blood sugar oh, so was now you're coming out with, up with excuses no I am super winded from running oh I thought you were like coming up with excuses no you beat no, me no, fair and you beat me fair and score twice yeah, I know I no did. not fair the first time you cheated like a I slowed down I started slowing down halfway through and then so we're gonna up. we're going home now we're gonna make that popping cooking video I don't know when that's gonna be up but it's just gonna be two separate videos because I think that one's gonna be funny cooking with Mason because I feel like we're gonna butt heads a lot well, I'm the best cooker 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 that's what I said yeah I know cooker they call me Chef Boy Hardy's nice. <laughs> or does driving a Mason put it in a neutral? I miss him. Take it out of here. No! That's gonna fuck things up. Mason, we're literally there's a train right there. That ain't no train. Yes it is. Nah, that was a fucking truck. Mason, we're, we're about to stop. <laughs> you did. You didn't even see me do it, did you? That was sneaky. Bro, can I actually try pushing your car though? Mason's gonna try to push Bro, the car. people outside. <laughs> Just do it. We're moving. I know, I, I see it. Should I get out and help you? No, I got it. Does this burn gas? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, that's the that's the most you're about my shoulders like that. That's hot and horny. Don't say shit like that. Oh! <laughs>
three minutes. Show me from the top, listen. Ah! Shout out Holland, man. Shout out ASAP Rocky, man. All in the building, man. What's good? Is that potato salad? Yo, listen. Niggas give me the cold shoulder. I can speak for myself. So I keep a hot waist and 